A couple weeks ago, most of you saw my video in opposition to the flat tax called The Real Pirate Tax. I mentioned at the beginning of that video that there was another video I made a few days before that. Most of you never saw it, since I had only posted it for a few minutes before I realized that I was arguing against a position that Mannix the Pirate did not hold. Failure. So now, by popular demand, I am re-releasing the video with a short introduction to tell you that while the video you were about to see was addressed to Mannix the Pirate, he does not favor this tax. The fair tax is still a terrible idea, though, so my points are still valid. But again, keep in mind that Mannix does not support it. Enjoy! I spent a large portion of my last couple videos defending Mannix the Pirate. Because of this, my diabolical plan has worked. Now that I've lured him into subscribing to me, it's time to rip him a new one! <laughs> I can't even pretend to be mean with a straight face, it's so sad. So anyway, I was talking to Mannix on his blog TV show the other day, and he was discussing tax structure and social programs. I could do a whole series of videos on both of those topics, but I'm just going to stick to one particular tax for this video. Now, Mannix seemed to think that the fair tax was a good idea. For those of you that don't know what the fair tax is, it's basically a national sales tax that would replace the federal income tax. Under this plan, nobody pays income tax, but everyone pays a tax on all new purchases. Yes, even giant pink teddy bears. Now, I know Mannix is a skeptic, and I know most of the rest of you in the Crocoduck Army are as well. So let's take a skeptical look at the fair tax and see if it passes the sniff test, shall we? First off, who is the marketing genius that came up with the name? That was brilliant. Instead of calling it the National Sales Tax, which is honest and descriptive, they now call it the fair tax, which doesn't tell you anything about what it is. But it sounds great, doesn't it? How can you argue with the fair tax? I'm actually surprised that people don't use this trick more often on other issues. Can you imagine if death penalty supporters started calling it the fair penalty? Hey, you've been sentenced to the fair penalty. How do you feel? Well, it kind of sucks, but at least it's fair. Let's take a look at their website now. Ah, this is interesting. I saw other websites that alluded to this. Fair tax proponents say that the national sales tax would be 23%, or do they? It seems that this actually means 23% of every dollar would go to the tax. They are not calculating it in the same way that we calculate sales tax today, which would translate to a 30% tax as we normally think of sales tax. They have a whole page defending this method of calculation. I'm pretty good with numbers, and I found it very difficult to follow their tortured math that they use to try and justify this. I consider this to be highly deceptive, designed for them to throw around a more palatable number. Speaking of throwing around nice numbers, I enjoy the little calculation tool on the site designed to tell you how much you would pay under the fair tax. It told me I'd save thousands of dollars a year. Interestingly, everyone saves tons of money, no matter what reasonable calculations I put in, and I tried several. If I put in something outlandish where I wouldn't get a tax break, the numbers would go negative on the final calculation, but the text would still say, hey, look, you get negative $5,000 and more purchasing power. Yay! So how can everyone pay less in taxes and keep the budget deficit from growing? They explain that foreign tourism and tax revenue from illegal immigrants will make up a lot of the difference. So they're saving me several thousands of dollars, and they're going to make that up largely from people who make much less than I do? Well, it is a fair tax, so it must be fair. So who is for the fair tax? They tout something called the Beacon Hill Institute, which is a conservative think tank, as well as a list of conservative economists. You should always watch out for anyone citing a source for objective truth that is so obviously partisan. What are the nonpartisan sources for the numbers they're claiming? I cannot find them on the site anywhere, and this is a very bad sign. Neil Bortz, Michael Reagan, Glenn Beck, and several other well-known right-wing pundits have come out in favor of this tax. This doesn't necessarily mean that the tax is a bad idea, but unless you're a big fan of Glenn Beck's other ideas, I'd bet you Mannix's aviator goggles that the fair tax isn't as fair as the name would have you believe. So until next time, I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts, but don't forget, stuffed animals can't consent, so you leave them alone.